Good evening and welcome to your midweek meditation. This is week eight in the current series and I'm just so glad to be with you this evening and um, wherever you are, I hope you've had a good day. It started out really cold here and by some miracle, not that it's really warm, I mean, if you know me, you know what it takes for me to feel warm, but it turned out to be really sunny and it's still even at eight o'clock. There's a lot of natural light coming in through my window here and it's just blessing my socks off at this point. Um, so even though it's not incredibly warm outside, I'm still just really appreciating the sunshine today. It just does wonders for me. How are you doing? What feelings are you feeling these days? I'm still getting reports across the board from different friends and coworkers and family members. Some people are finding their groove. Some people are feeling really heavy. Um, it's still quite a season of loss and grief for so many. Um, and I just want to echo the sentiment that I've been sharing, I think, over the past couple weeks. There's just room for all the different emotions and just honoring each and every one of them. Um, yeah, I think that we can tend to make an assignment that if we're feeling a heavy emotion or something that brings us down, sadness or grief, uh, anything like that, we might assign a value to that, that, you know, that's bad or that's wrong. We need to get over it and get ourselves out of that state of mind or being. Um, and then in contrast, if we're feeling hope or excitement or fresh energy or creativity, a burst, <laughs> and we feel productive and we get things done, then we might assign a value to that, that that's really good. And we need to find some way to bottle that and sustain it and just keep that going. And I want to challenge that assigning and just say that I would invite you to honor whatever emotion and what energy you're feeling. And I don't think it's healthy to get stuck in any one place. Um, and so if you're feeling stuck somewhere and you're not able to use tools or resources or you wouldn't even know where to begin to help shift your energy or your mood, please reach out to me or someone else you know and trust that could help you process through and shift that energy or emotion. But for those of us who are not necessarily feeling stuck, just maybe experiencing those waves, those highs and lows, um, however they're coming, you know, we don't get to plan for them at three o'clock. We're going to feel this way and that's going to be perfect because we have this meeting or this downtime. It's just going to go really well with that emotion. No, we don't get to plan them. And so as you're riding the waves, um, as long as you're not getting stuck, that you just get to honor that emotion that you're feeling and, um, What do I want to say? Um, as you honor it, as you feel what you're feeling, I want you to, to have the freedom and, and to know that there's always something that we can learn wherever we're finding ourselves. There's always a gift in it if we take it to the Lord and ask him. Um, to reveal where he is and what he's doing in that moment or in that emotion and just kind of try to work through it that way. So just an invitation that I have for you as I experience my own waves of emotion and try to figure out my way through. I always like to share anything that I'm experiencing and learning as it may be just as helpful for you. Um, so I didn't really have a whole lot to say tonight other than as we um, eased into our meditation last week, I made the comment that in this season, I kind of feel like a sheep 
like I'm being led, I'm being spoken even down to in a lot of occasions. And I'm just looking to the left and right, trying to meet my basic needs. And where, where I landed was, if I'm going to be a sheep, then I just really want to be grounded in the fact of whose sheep I am. And so I look to the good shepherd. And so tonight I just wanted to build upon that. And I thought we might soak for a few weeks um, in Psalm 139 and just really ground ourselves in who we are, whose we are, and the concept of being known. And so I call tonight's meditation, We Are Known, and we are going to just um, uh, meditate on the first 10 verses of Psalm 139 together. So settle into your space, grab some tea if you haven't already, you may want to diffuse an essential oil or light a candle. Get yourself comfortable. And I'm just going to lead us in right now. Let's start with our deep breathing as we always do. See if you can inhale for about three to five seconds and then hold it for that long, whatever you choose, somewhere between three and five seconds, and then exhale for three to five seconds. You wanna do that a few times and then just return to your normal breathing after that. I'm gonna do one with you. It's incredible how just even one breath makes you feel so much better. As you continue to focus on your breath, do a few more. Imagine as you exhale that all the tension, all the stress that you feel, all the weight you have been carrying just gently leaves you. Feel it draining from your head, from your neck, in your shoulders, your core, your limbs, your hands, and your feet. Feel your jaw bones relax and unclench your teeth. If you find that your tongue is pressed up against the roof of your mouth, allow it to drop down. Feel your thoughts drifting. Feel your heart emptying. Feel your spirit sighing a deep cleansing sigh. And then similarly, imagine as you inhale that all the gifts of God are filling you. Love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. Feel your mind opening. Feel your heart expanding. Feel your spirit lifting. You are filled with healing light and life. Find a place of rest in God's holy presence as you close your eyes or just take your soft gaze to the floor in front of you, knowing that his long loving gaze is upon you. Now let's listen to our scripture reading for this evening. This is the word of the Lord as found in Psalm 139, verses 1 through 10. You know all about me. Lord, you know everything there is to know about me. 
you perceive every movement of my heart and soul. And you understand my every thought before it even enters my mind. You are so intimately aware of me, Lord. You read my heart like an open book. And you know all the words I'm about to speak before I even start a sentence. You know every step I will take before my journey even begins. You've gone into my future to prepare the way. And in your kindness, you follow behind me to spare me from the harm of my past. With your hand of love upon my life, you impart a blessing to me. This is just too wonderful, deep, and incomprehensible. Your understanding of me brings me wonder and strength. Where could I go from your spirit? Where could I run and hide from your face? If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the realm of the dead, you're there too. If I fly with wings into the shining dawn, you're there. If I fly into the radiant sunset, you're there waiting. Wherever I go, your hand will guide me. Your strength will empower me. Thanks be to God. Let's start by giving thanks to God for knowing everything there is to know about us and loving us still with an unconditional and everlasting love. Thank you, God, for perceiving me, every movement of my heart and soul, for understanding me, every thought before it even enters my mind, for being so intimately aware of me, and for reading my heart, knowing all the words I'm about to speak before I even start a sentence. Offer your own prayers of thanksgiving. Pray them silently, aloud, or write them into your journal. How has God spared you from the harm of your past? Let a specific memory come to mind. If you don't already know, ask God to show you where he is in this memory, how he protects you from harm. Let him walk you through this memory step by step from his perspective and either receive his fresh healing 
will remember with him how he has protected and healed you. How has God gone before you into your future to prepare your way? If you know that next step he has prepared, take a few moments to open up your imagination and dream about it with him. If you don't have a sense of the next step that you're about to take on your path of life, ask God to show you, to shine his wisdom-filled light on just that next step for you. God's understanding brings us wonder and strength. What does this look like for you? Wait in the silence for a word, a scripture, a song lyric, the picture, or any symbol he wants to share with you. If a symbol doesn't come in this moment, trust that one isn't needed and just enjoy the silence with him instead. With God's hand of love upon your life, he imparts a blessing to you. What blessing do you need tonight? Ask him for it. Thank him and praise him for it and for his faithfulness as your good, good father who absolutely delights in blessing you.
This is where I'm going to pause for this evening. You may choose to linger a little longer in silence. You may decide to journal a few of the prompts we meditated on, along with anything that you received in the spirit, as well as your responses. You may want to return to your deep breathing before you ease into the rest of your evening ritual. For me, there are cozy pajamas in store, my favorite bedtime oils, vetiver, cedarwood, serenity, and copaiba, a few pages of a good book, and my gratitude list, and quiet affirmations whispered as I drift off to sleep, knowing down to the fibers of my very being who I am and whose I am, that I am cherished and deeply loved. I'm praying that you all will rest soundly tonight in this truth as well. God bless you and good night.